Hello everyone, this is Ramzan Begum and I am going to discuss about the space segment in satellite communication. A satellite communication system can be broadly divided into two segments, a ground segment and a space segment. The ground facilities needed to keep the satellite operational that can be referred as telemetry, tracking and command. The payload is the equipment present in the satellite. It is used to provide the service for which the satellite has been launched. The transponder is also an equipment of a communication satellite. It provides the connecting link between satellite's transmit and receive antennas. The spacecraft subsystems are power subsystem, attitude and orbit control subsystems, telemetry, tracking and command subsystems, communication subsystems, antenna subsystems. Let us see about the primary power or power supply. The primary electrical power for operating the electronic equipment is obtained by solar cells. The individual cells can generate only small amount of power and therefore uh, we can use an array of cells in series and uh, parallel connections so that we can generate more power. During eclipse power is provided by two nickel cadmium long life batteries. At the beginning of life, the panel produced 940 watt DC power, which may drop to 760 watt at the end of the 10 years. The higher powers can be achieved with the solar panels arranged in the form of solar rectangular solar sails. Let us know about the attitude control. We know it is one of the spacecraft subsystems. The attitude of a satellite refers to its orientation in space. Most of the equipment are used for controlling the satellite's attitude. The attitude control is necessary here to ensure the directional antenna point in its proper direction. The disturbances start like a number of forces that gravitational fields of the earth and moon, solar radiation that can be alter the attitude. So we can use infrared sensors to find any deviation or shift in satellite's orientation in space. These sensors are known as uh, horizon detectors. With the use of the four such sensors, one of each quadrant and consider the earth as a center and it can be a reference point, any shift in orientation can be detected. And then the corresponding control signal is generated. The controlling torque may be generated by two ways positive attitude control and active attitude control methods. Passive attitude control. This is one of the torque controlling method. Using this the satellite stabilization can be achieved. Spin stabilization and gravity gradient stabilization are example for passive attitude control methods. The communication satellite uses spin stabilization. Active attitude control. The corrective torque are applied as required in response to disp disturbances starts. The momentum wheels, EM coils are the methods used to generate active control torque. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग